2022 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring Review, completely redesigned and improved. When an automobile company raises the bar high, reviews become stricter and customers tend to be unforgiving. Honda has managed to raise the bar with the Civic for years, not only in terms of exquisite reliability, but also affordability and an impressive track record of sales. With a complete redesign of the 2022 Honda Civic hatchback, we took out our magnifying glasses in order to find the flaws that come with a first-year redesign. Spoiler alert! It was tough. With a starting MSRP of $23,350, the Honda Civic hatchback takes its reputation to a completely new height. Getting behind a 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring with the manual transmission, there's a reason it's still one of the best daily drivers you can have for under $30,000. The 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback marks the first year of the 11th generation Civic. When you look at the history of the Honda Civic, the hatchback design has been a stamp. With the first generation introduced to the United States in 1973 being a hatchback, we look at this configuration as an iconic design for the company. After 49 years, Honda is taking their design to completely new heights with inspirations from the European hatch market. The focus for the 11th Gen Civic hatchback is a sporty design and performance to match the looks. This is why Honda continues to offer the 6-speed manual transmission outside of the Civic C and the Type R, giving enthusiasts of all budgets the opportunity to enjoy the third pedal. With two engine options, a 2.0-liter naturally aspirated engine and a 1.5-liter turbocharged engine, we decided to review the latter. 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback 1.5-liter engine and driveline. The 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring features an inline four-cylinder 1.5-liter turbocharged engine, operating at 10.3, one compression ratio. The 16-valve DOHC VTEC is a direct injection engine with a peak boost of 16.5 PSI. The Civic Hatchback 1.5 liter delivers 180 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, and 177 pound-feet of torque between 1,700 RPM and 4,500 RPM, with a red line of 6,600 RPM. The 2022 Civic Hatchback Sport Touring comes with two transmission options, 6-speed manual, and a CVT with paddle shifters. We decided to review the 6-speed manual transmission since we just tested the 2022 Honda Civic C, and next week we will be reviewing the 2022 Honda Civic Sedan with the automatic transmission to compare all three options. 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring Styling Going with inspiration from European hatchbacks, according to their official press release, gave the 2022 Civic hatchback a very refined, elegant design. European hatches have always captured a balance of sportiness and matureness, and this generation Civic captures this balance perfectly. This is especially apparent when you realize Honda removed the common fake vents around the vehicle. While the 10 Gen Civic hatchback had those large black vents on the rear, it was always a disappointment when you realize they're not actual vents, instead they are just trim pieces to match the Type R's rear. This generation Civic hatchback completely loses the nonsense and puts on a more confident appearance. In addition to the tastefully styled exterior, the wheelbase is also 1.4 inches longer than the previous generation Civic hatch, and track width is half an inch wider. The longer wheelbase not only enhances the looks, it also makes for a larger rear seat space. Overall, the exterior of the 11th generation Civic hatchback is an improvement from an already great exterior design. 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring Interior The Sport Touring trim gives you the best of what the 2022 Civic hatchback has to offer. The quality of the leather seats, the buttons and switches, and the completely redesigned feel of the cabin is a home run. The new dashboard is clean and simple. The 9-inch touchscreen is now located higher above the dashboard, making for an elegant, non-cluttered look. The screen has access to the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which works flawlessly, Apple CarPlay tested. The entire infotainment system showed no shortcomings, however, it feels slightly outdated visually. A charging pad works okay, but oftentimes stops charging as the phone slightly moves. After reviewing the 2022 Kia K5 GT line and seeing how well designed the charging station compartment is, we realize this is a problem. Overall, 
The cabin redesign is a massive improvement over the previous generation in terms of modern style, comfort, and elegance. Dot. 2020 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring Safety. There is so much to love about the all-new Civic Hatch. In terms of safety, the 2020 Civic comes with a collision mitigation braking system, lane keeping assist, forward collision warning, blind spot monitor, and traffic sign recognition system. Unfortunately, the low speed follow and the traffic jam assist only come with the CVT option. The specs and features don't stop there, which is truly impressive to find in a Honda Civic in this price range. You no longer have to sacrifice any safety features when deciding to go with an affordable hatchback. The Civic has serious safety features with that of much more expensive German vehicles. 2022 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Touring First Drive The all-new Civic Hatch is a very well-rounded daily driver. The 1.5-liter turbocharged engine offers extremely smooth acceleration. The clutch is soft enough to ensure you don't regret your choice in gearbox. The shifter is a tad crunchy and not as crisp as the Civic C. However, in a weird way, it adds to that raw driving feel and engagement. While the Civic sounds rather quiet, it can sound a tad throaty when you push it, but not really a sport car sound in any way. We have yet to test the automatic transmission to compare, but we truly like this manual. Dot. Acceleration is decent for such a small displacement engine. You get your peak torque at 1700 RPM and it maintains it throughout the mid-range, with great response all through the middle. The top end of the RPM lacks power, and true Civic enthusiasts will miss the high revving VTECs of the past. For daily driving, however, the Civic hatchback has the right amount of power whenever you need it, and it can relatively scream when you want to have some fun. While we praised the clutch for being soft enough for daily driving, we will criticize it for being too soft for more spirited driving. However, if you aren't used to high-performance vehicles, this will do just fine. Handling seems to have improved tremendously. Honda claims they increased torsional rigidity by 19%. The entire car feels tighter and handles far better around corners when compared to the 10th generation. Honda engineered both the suspension and steering in Europe and tuned it specifically for the US market. The steering feels precise in turns, and it gives the driver the driving feels we car people desire. We were quite surprised by how well the Civic handled when pushed beyond what we thought were its limits. The European suspension engineering definitely works. All in all, the 2022 Honda Civic hatchback feels refined, without sacrificing the driving engagement. We can't make a decision between the manual transmission and the automatic just yet, but if we have to guess, we would have to say the manual is the more fun car. Dot. 2022 Civic hatchback, the bottom line. It's no secret the 2022 Honda Civic hatchback is better than the previous generation. This speaks volumes given that the previous generation was a complete success, and could place the Civic far ahead of its longtime rival, the Toyota Corolla. Honda continues to improve materials, performance, and efficiency. We love vents, but we hate fake vents. That's where Honda hit it out of the park. They removed all nonsense fluff, and let the design speak for itself both inside and out. We absolutely love that a manual transmission is still an option. In a time when everyone is going electric, it's nice to see the Japanese automaker tending to the true enthusiasts. The Civic hatch gets it right in terms of handling, although some road noise is present. I've been driving the car hard for the past week, and I am averaging over 31 mpg. This is as good as it gets when it comes to an inexpensive daily driver. While the starting MSRP is at an incredible price point, $23,350, our loaner came with a price tag of over $30,000. The only problem is, we loved our loaner. We loved the wireless Apple CarPlay, the leather seats, the bigger screen, and the bigger tires. With a price tag of more than $30,000, the competition becomes extremely tough, though. Dot. The question is. Who is this car right for? As usual, the Honda Civic has been and will continue to be one of the best-selling vehicles in the United States. This is highly due to its reliability reputation, which is no coincidence. Honda has rigorous testing that each car they produce has to go through. The result is a vehicle that will not only live for decades, but will also keep its value far better than most other brands. This is the ultimate affordable daily driver and should be taken seriously. You can't go wrong with a manual or automatic, this will highly depend on your level of enthusiasm and your driving conditions, but we would highly recommend the Sport Touring Trim. 
Despite being on the more expensive side, this trim level's offering is far above its price tag. In the end, you can't go wrong if you buy a Civic, especially when it looks this good.